Hi, this is uh, Intro to Linux, um, Chapter 3, Working with Editors. Let's look at the assignment. Okay, on the assignment, uh, we're only going to work with the VI editor, not the Emacs editor. Uh, the chapter actually has its work with both. With both, You can go ahead and work with Emacs if you want to, that's fine. Uh, but uh, all the assignments, again, are centered around the VI editor. Now, and that means that for your hands-on projects, chapter three hands-on projects, they're on pages 136 to 152. Um, do complete projects 3.1 through 3.12. Do not do 3.13, that's working with LPR. Uh, that's an um, internet uh, printing service, basically. And then do 3.14, but do not do 15 through 3.20. Those are working specifically with the Emacs editor. And then on the discovery exercises, there are a whole lot of them. And, uh, but do not do exercises 32 to 38, and that's working with an Emacs editor as well. Okay, so we'll go to the PowerPoint. And a script is a file containing commands. Uh, all of you know that, so you can set up um, a bunch of different commands within a script. And then, uh, and then run that script all at one time. A great example of setting up uh, users. So you can have a thousand users built into a script and then run the script. You don't have to enter those users one at a time. Let's see, using editors. Um, you know, Word is an example of an editor, a regular editor. A text editor is just a simplified word processing program just for plain text. You guys use Notepad++, PSPad, all those things all the time. For editing HTML, we use you know, Notepad++. Or PSPad, just a simple text editor. Now, Included in Unix and Linux are screen editors, and that's their VI and Emacs. Now, the the deal with Emacs is it is uh, more complicated. It's a higher learning curve. It has a lot more functionality overall. You can run macros. You can do a number of different things like that. But uh, but what we want to go ahead and use is keep it simple. Keep uh, and use VI within this server environment. Now. We'll use VI when you're logging into the server from home. If you happen to, to have installed OpenSUSE or another Linux program and you're at the terminal window, you can type in gedit to get a GUI notepad-like um, editor for editing text. Okay, now, now we'll start working with VI just a little bit here. So let me go out to Linux. Um, I think that this will be fine. Okay, so VI is the 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 program you just call you call you type the command VI it goes to VI. And I'm just going to grab test file. Okay, now I have the as I'll explain later the set number turned on automatically. You see the number of the line come up. You can change your configuration file. Um, to actually turn that number on initially, if you, or or I'll explain how to set that number to turn it on um, from a command from the extended command mode prompt. Okay, now a couple. So we have we look at this insert mode, command mode, and extended command sets. So insert mode, you actually have to type I to be able to start typing text. You know, incredibly cryptic. You can hit enter, type in line two. This is a good demonstration. All of that's just fine, okay? Then line four, okay? Now, when you hit escape though, and I, I did, that goes to a command mode. And for instance, when I want to delete a line, I have to go to command mode, and then I'm typing DD. Okay, and that deleted that line that that cursor was on. Okay, again from command mode, if I want to undo that, I can type U. Okay, so um, so it's kind of cryptic. Now, when I'm at this command mode and I want to do some additional things, um, I need to go to the shift colon. And you notice at the bottom of the screen where I have a colon. Okay. That's the extended command set, and that's where I can go ahead and write and quit and do different commands like that. So I'm going to go ahead and write this file. That means I'm saving it. OK, 
Okay, now, so again, insert command mode and extended command sets. Okay, so we opened VI text files and we inserted some text. We hit escape to go to command mode. So if it had been, when you toggle between escape and I, it just toggles between command mode and insert mode. Remember, insert mode is where I can go ahead and insert text. Line five, line number, oh, I need to learn how to spell number five. And then the escape is a command mode. Okay, and it just toggles between the two. All right, so repeating a change, you use a period at the command mode. And that repeats the most recent command. U undoes the command, and we've just done that. We'll do it again. And deleting text, you can delete just a single line of text in command mode, which really isn't that useful because you'll be typing text in in insert mode, and you just backspace over it to delete it. But DD deletes the entire line. DW deletes the word. Okay, so uh, what we'll do is um, insert line six space I'm going to hit the escape to go to command mode and hit the dot and that repeats the last command I put in now what I'm then going to do is hit the U to undo now if I want to go ahead and get rid of this whole line I'm in command mode which I hit escape remember I can hit I for insert. I'm going to hit escape again for command mode and then DD and that'll delete that line. Okay, now I can go ahead and copy text as well. Um, copy text is, a, is either, as it shows here, a capital Y. You can copy two or copy two lines of text, ten lines of text, that's the syntax. So two Y, so I'm going to go to command mode and then I'm going to type in a capital Y to copy that line. Now, when I paste it, a capital P at the command mode will paste above the current, a lowercase p below the current. So I'm going to type in a lowercase p and it adds it below the current line. Okay, now, uh, it's, it's, yes, yes, it is kind of cryptic. It is the way it is. But you see, this has been used for a long time and it's been pretty functional for a long time. It does all of the basic things that you really need in a text editor and the real intent isn't to create great documents it's to simply cut and paste text and to create scripts that uh, that you can work with and, and uh, run multiple commands from. Here's a, an overview of moving the cursor around in command mode. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it at all it's way easier for us to just uh, move the cursor around to a great extent using the insert mode because we're typing stuff in anyway but if you had a thousand line file you know it's handy upper right hand corner or upper left hand corner of the screen last line it just shortcuts now to search in VI we can look at we have to go to extended command mode with the little colon the slash is to search and for what number so when we look at this we're going to go ahead and put our cursor on line number one hit escape to go to command mode shift colon to extend the command mode and then the forward slash and then I'm going to look for good and that shows me which line good is on okay the next step is to search and replace so the command set is to, is extended command mode um, line start at line number one and search clear to the end of the file with a dollar sign. S slash means to search for what demonstration and replace with what fun. And exactly, what fun. Okay, escape command mode. Now you hear a little bell. I'm already in command mode, so when I press escape again, it's just telling me I have an error. I'm already, it's saying I'm already in command mode. So extended commands. Start at one, go to the end with the dollar, 
uh, s slash search for demonstration replace with fun. Okay, so we see what our command set looks like. We should see this word change. And it did. Okay, now uh, next slide. We want to add a file name to it. So if we put our cursor towards the bottom, and I'm going to insert and go to the end of the line, hit enter. I can hit escape for command mode, shift colon, R, this is to read a file into this, and I think we have a file called zoo3, or I do anyway. And it'll just go ahead and add it wherever that cursor is. If I want to leave VI temporarily and run a command, um, you know, this command is just going to pop back uh, to VI once I end it. But if you have a command where you continue to run it, you can type in FG to exit back into it because you may go out and run the command prompt again and FG will go back to your version of VI. So again, this is from the extended command prompt, exclamation mark, cal to run the calendar. So it'll run that. You can see which day it is and then just go ahead and hit enter back to VI. Now we can see deleting, line, deleting lines. Um, this is the syntax, typical syntax to delete stuff and then, then to help. So to delete the lines, let's go ahead and delete escape for the command, um, command mode. I'm being pretty redundant. I'm already in command mode. A lot of times I'm just I'm saying this uh, so you'll get the idea that you need to switch between different modes, insert command and extended command. It's just kind of a hassle until you get used to it, and you'll always mess up anyway. So, so four. Let's see. Let's do this differently. I know the example is four to six, but let's get rid of all that zoo file. So that would be nine, as we can see, nine through twelve, nine comma twelve v, and that gets rid of the, that whole um, all that new stuff. Finally, help. You can hit colon help and then move around here and it gives you a whole lot of commands um, I'm not sure if it's really helpful at all anyway but it's maybe a little bit to go ahead and exit out of this shift colon quit and you're back to your VI editor okay uh, set number I'd missed that didn't I you can just hit colon and then set number to actually turn the numbers on like you see here. And then we won't be printing, don't worry about LPR. Here's a VI command summary, uh, all the commands that we've used, all the main ones at least. And then the rest of this particular PowerPoint that's uh, on Moodle talks about e the Emacs editor, how to get around, how to do the basic stuff with it. And, and we're not gonna worry about it, Emacs. So, um, so you can view it, you can use it if you like, but you don't have to. So I think that covers uh, text editors in Linux, uh, VI, and basically, basically how to use that VI editor. Uh, thank you.